Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, guys, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll take a peek at your person's energy, whoever's on your mind, and your energy, and see what's going on there as well. Okay, so welcome back. If you are returning, and if you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings. That info is in the description box below this video, any video actually, or my about section. So you can check that out there if you'd like. All right, let's see what's going on for you guys for the next 10 days. So in the recent past, we have the Four of Swords in reverse with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Then in the current energy, we have the King of Cups in reverse with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. In the near future, Four of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Four of Wands. Okay, overall energy is the world. So there's something that has to be closed out that has not quite yet. What's behind this? Let's see. Okay, so you are about to, something is about to shift in your life, and I think it's going to be a, a pretty big one for some of you. Those of you that haven't already closed out this cycle, um, the energy of this is finally going to be releasing from you. So the Six of Swords, he's looking for a place of solitude. He just wants to get to the other side of the bullshit is what I'm going to say. And that's what I feel like you'd be saying right now is I just want to get to the other side of this. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Even if you're not somebody who's jumping around in the spiritual world or you're just watching readings out of interest. This is just saying you just want to get to a better place. Um, this cycle is definitely going to close out for you. So if you felt really strongly that something's coming, it is. Um, whatever this change is that you need to make, you need to um, take some time, I feel like, in the next couple of weeks to really decide because something has not healed from you yet. And I know we always think that we've healed from things. You're almost on the other side of it. Here, I'm going to pull this out because I, I want to have you look at it like this. So with the star in reverse and the world on either side of the six of swords, your desire, the middle of this is to find that place of peace. But with the star card in reverse and the world in reverse, that means that there's something that you haven't yet closed out or released. So if you're working on getting over something or healing from a difficult situation, it could take a little bit more time, but you're getting there. And Yes, there will be on the other side of this something much more your speed. I think this is, I just want to kind of take my hand and go across my throat and say, I'm just done. Like, it doesn't matter if it's something major or something just small. Most things in our lives that we're looking for tarot readings to answer are some bigger issues. So if this is just needing a peace of mind, you're getting there. You're about to be there. And I think what they're trying to stress to you right now, if you're feeling this push, is to put some more love and energy into you and not focus so much on things that are external to you. Yes, it's difficult because the holidays are here. So you could feel a little bit like you can't push through some of this just yet. But if you can do some self-care while you do it, and really be honest about how you're feeling with people, at least the people around you that you know really care about you, then it'll be a little bit easier to get there. But right now, I still feel like the focus has to be on yourself and being really true to yourself, not just about being clear to other people about what you're going through. If you don't feel like sharing your feelings, you don't feel like sharing what's going on, I get it. Sometimes we can't, especially if we're in a place where we're really sad. Even at times, the holidays can create depression for whatever reason. I'm not saying you're there, but there's some sadness that definitely lingers that needs to be released. So be true to yourself. Just take care of you. Some of these changes just have not completely happened. The death in reverse just means you haven't quite shed that last of your skin that's going to put you on the other side of some of this energy. But it's coming. It's like... Spirit's trying to show you. I feel like you're doing the praying. They are actually opening their arms to the angels above. So if you've just been doing a lot of praying lately, I'm seeing somebody kneeling down next to their bed. If you're doing that, they're listening. They hear you. There are going to be guided actions, but sometimes we have to get out of our head. And I feel like in the recent past, you finally made a move to get to that place where you weren't going to let the mental stuff 
get you so far down that you couldn't get out of it. So you're working on it and it's coming. Uh, this is just a reassurance that what you've been doing to get on the other side of this is definitely working and you're being heard. I can see, okay, so I, I just want to pull the rest of these. If we're led to do this, I will in my readings. If you're new with me, usually I just go through, but if these pull and they make sense, I'm going to pull them. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse is pulling back and not putting so much energy into the things that can at times create exhaustion. Not that you don't want to work or put the effort in, but sometimes we do have to take a step back and just say it's okay. It's okay right where it is. If I don't feel like doing something, I'm not going to do it. And that's actually going to help open you up to realize what's coming towards you. If you allow yourself to take a break, sometimes you can actually feel what the angels or whoever's guiding you, whatever you believe in, giving you that sense of it's going to be okay. So on the other side of anything that you've had difficulty with, you're finding your way out of it. And this is about finding that joy, happiness, victory, being recognized maybe at work for all of your hard work. Um, also being successful in the future in your relationships, having things shift and change. A lot of good is coming in the near future. All right, so I'm going to put these back and we will discuss the recent past. So the Four of Swords with the Four of Cups and then the Nine of Pentacles. Something feels like it had taken its toll on you. Possibly um, a little bit chipped away at self-worth, value, um, a sense of I feel okay, independence, things like that. But I f also feel like you're realizing that you don't have to give of yourself so much. And I've said this to you guys a lot because you have a tendency to do that. You give, but you also are good at giving to yourselves at times. I think there's a need for a consistent amount of balance instead of at times being one way or the other. But this is pulling you out of that mental energy and realizing that if somebody doesn't offer what you desire in your life at this point, then it's not worth putting the energy to. If it creates any kind of instability, questions around your self-worth or anything that causes a lack of, I feel independent on my own and I don't want that to be tampered with, then I don't think you're going to be putting your energy into it. All right, we'll clarify that in just a moment. So in the current energy, the King of Cups in reverse with the Three of Wands and the Three of Cups in reverse. So the Three of Wands is you knowing that things are changing. You see it. You see it in the horizon in a sense. You may not know exactly what it is, but like I said, if you sit still and you allow yourself to open up, it's almost as if your guides will give you that feeling of, I want to say almost like giddiness. Like I can feel it. I know that there is something good on the other side of these times when either people had withdrawn from you emotionally or you had to shut down in order to protect yourself. The three of cups is not the most exciting. So you may just not feel like dealing with the holidays right now. With the three of wands, yeah, I know that things are going to get better later. I'm just not really in the mood for this. I'm going to do my best to get through it because it, for a lot of people, it is a great time. For others of you, you just may want to shut down not be too overly emotional and just focus on what you've got to get done. And that's what it feels like. All right. So in the near future, we have the four of pentacles in reverse with the 10 of cups and then the four of wands. So some of you that had held on very tightly to a situation, this is going to be someone who's gone through a, a big breakup in the past, possibly a marriage, a long-term relationship, even an idea about what you wanted within a close relationship, I don't think you're holding on too tightly to that anymore. I think whatever works for you, if you're not currently in a relationship, is going to shift. And even if you are, things I feel like in the near future are going to change. So what you used to desire, I don't think you desire anymore. We all do go through those changes in our lives. Like every, I don't know, they say every seven years, 10 years, 12 years, whatever it may be, you could be at that place right now where you're saying, okay, I just don't think things need to look the same as I thought they should before. And I feel like that's what's changing. Your desires around how you see a relationship, what you, your expectations are uh, within a relationship or in one in general if you are not currently in one. All right, so I'm going to clarify and we'll see what else comes out for you guys. 
So the Four of Swords with the Four of Cups in reverse. What's going on for Leo, please? All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. That's great. So at times where people, uh, well, here's what I really wanna say. When you decided that you were not going to allow people into your life that didn't bring the things that truly made you happy, that's when this new opportunity for love shows up. So although that may have been created in the past, recently I feel like something's shown up. Either it's love for self, which is the best thing you can do is loving on you, an abundance of the love for self because you're releasing those that did not show up in a way that you show up. And that allows you to move forward and get out of these energies. Like if you love yourself, the people around you are going to come at you and reflect that love that you have for you. So I think that's where you've, you've come to is you realize you've got to give it to you. And that's what opens up the door to possibly something new for you. This just feels like excitement about new things in your life, period. Um, you could have just recently also gotten this sensation about, I just am really wanting to love my life. So whatever that entails, whatever I have to shift or change in order to get to that place, I want to love it again. And I think you're finally seeing that clearly with the eyeball there. Okay, so the Four of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles and then the High Priestess comes out. Because deep down, you really, really do know what brings you joy in your life. And the things that may not anymore, no problem. The people that don't anymore, okay, then they need to go. But your intuition is definitely there to tell you what you need to understand, as well as the people that protect you from the other side. If you, some people don't believe in that, but they're there. I promise you I talk to them. So they're there and they're enhancing your intuition. Things are starting to come to you much clearer. And like I said, you're probably going to be feeling it within your body. It's just going to tell you when you clear your mind what the next step is. Because the universe wants you to be happy. They want you to go after the things that are going to bring you joy. We can't possibly have human lives without some pain in it, right? Without the lessons. But we can certainly have a different perspective, even through the tough times. And that's what really helps feeds our soul. Now we have the Six of Swords in... I'm sorry, the Six of Wands in reverse. So this is that area of your life where things didn't seem to be working out, where you felt like you had to withdraw because they weren't. And you know deep down inside that if you wait and you're patient, things will shift. All right, so let's look at the Three of Wands with the Three of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Nine of Wands because you've dredged through the mud to get to the other side of this. And you know deep down that there is no way there can't be better on the other side. So whether it be that you had to release a partner, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, you had a situation possibly at work that just wasn't feeling right. I don't feel like there's a leaving right now. So some of you, this can't possibly resonate for all of you, but I don't feel a leaving. I just feel a sense of something needs to change within the work environment because you've worked your ass off and... This is dredging through the mud to get to the good stuff, right? And I feel like that's where you're coming to. It just, in the moment, feels a little bit like you're still waiting. All right, the Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Tower. See, that's that big change. Again, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. That energy is super strong. Um, not holding on to or being at all delusional about the shifts and changes that need to happen. But I feel like this is a big breakthrough for you about what you desire. As much as it could be that things have, yes, shifted and changed, it just feels like a breakthrough moment. And great, I mean, so the end of December is gonna bring a lot of new things to you because we have the 10 of cups, because if your unhappiness is there and you don't make some of these changes, the universe is gonna come in and knock some things out of your life in order to bring you to this place where you have peace. Because that is the ultimate goal, is to find stability for you within your relationships, family, or whichever in your life that are the most important, friends. Let's see. We've got, there you go, and then the lovers. So it, uh, it does. It all balances out. When you recognize what wasn't making you happy within that past situation, and you come to grips with it really fully, uh, this is when something really magnificent comes in. Because... I, 
if you don't already have this person in your life, they're definitely coming. But you have to know you well enough. Who are you now? Not who were you three years ago. Who are you now? And how is that going to make you happy in a relationship? What are you seeking? If it is with a partner that you're currently with, then this is that big change that needs to happen within the relationship, within the marriage, within the soulmate union, in order for the two of you to come to this place of truly feeling like you can just flow in love. It is possible for two people to actually love each other, respect each other, and be, and that, that's tough to find. It really is. It's not the norm, unfortunately, but I feel like that's where we're getting. So if that's what you're seeking, you will be there. If you're not looking for a partner, this is going to be big changes around your home and around how much you just love the people that are in your life. Probably some new people and releasing of the old. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pick these up and we will get into your person's energy and your energy. So let's see what comes out for you. When I clear the cards, I like to look at the one that stays on the top. So the Three of Cups in reverse. I don't think that there's a lack of celebration. I just think you're a little too tired to do what you would normally do. So if you feel a little pulled back around the holidays, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it, I want to say. Because I know you guys are so active and you love the gatherings and you love to have lots of people around and things like that and it may just not be able to happen the same way it would normally or maybe you're just not as excited about it this year and that's okay things when things are changing as drastically as they have been over the last couple of years you know one tough one to get to the really good ones from this point on um i know you can bear because you guys are strong as strong can be all right let's pull the cards for your relationship or whoever's on your mind. This is for Leah. All right, so your person's energy is the Wheel of Fortune with the Tower. Again, we've got a lot of Scorpio energy in this reading. And then we have, again, the Nine of Pentacles coming out. So there's a lot of shifts and changes within your, your person's energy right now. Your energy is the Chariot. The judgment, yep, doing that praying, the five of pentacles and the hanged man. So the overall energy is the ten of swords. So somebody feels really betrayed within the situation. Is this being completely done? At times I think you may tell yourself you are. Now the energy of the knight of wands is, but there's a part of you that's really passionate about it as well. So for those of you that you're not with this person or there's some ups and downs, I feel like there's still a lot of passion there, but a lot of work on being done with whatever has already happened and putting that behind you because your person's desperately trying to get through some of these big, big changes. The Wheel of Fortune means things are going in their favor. Now, whether they have some insecurities or maybe self-worth issues, that's on them. That's not yours to carry but I don't feel like right now they want to walk away they want to work on this because they know if they show up more um, of somebody who loves themselves is definitely easier to get along with than someone who has a lot of insecurities because that creates tons of projection so I think they're really working on that and I do think it's going to be a big shock in the way that they have shifted their energies. Does everybody change? No, that means that they're not meant for you. If they can't change within a relationship, they're not meant for you. But someone that is meant for you, that's meant to be in your life, will shift and change within the relationship. So I think you're dealing with somebody who really wants to be committed to this and wants to make the effort with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so your energy is the chariot in reverse with the judgment, hangman, and then five of pentacles. I think you've prayed long enough. A part of you may have already shifted out of this because we've got the chariot in reverse, meaning you probably walked away or energetically you have pulled away and been praying for something to release you of whatever difficulties there were. If there was a lot of pain or arguing or betrayal or things like that that had happened, I feel like you want to abandon that particular energy so that you can work things out. If you have walked away from them, you may be deciding that it isn't worth it for you. But if you're wanting to know they're up to good changes, 
I'm going to say they are. I feel like something is really shifting. Now, could they be explosive at times? Probably, but it doesn't have to do with you. It's just their own stuff. All right, let's see what other messages we've got here. This is for Leo. And then I'll get some advice for you as well. So we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So some of you, if this is the ex that you're inquiring about, yeah, it's probably time. If you feel like that person is unhealthy for you and they don't seem to want to walk away, their insecurity issues are too much because they're projecting them onto you, I can see where you'd want to walk away from that. That would make sense. And pray for something better just to be released from that energy. But for those of you who really want it, the advice is to let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Uh, let your friends help you, your friends. Ask for and accept support from others. And then codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Could you, um, either of you, have these things going on? Absolutely. I'm not accusing anybody of having addictions. Codependency can be on both ends. And it, it isn't a four-letter word. It just means at times when we've had difficult childhoods or upbringings we carry a lot of that into our current relationships and that can be us clinging that's codependency needing a physical person there in order to try to fill something that we feel is a void so abandonment issues other things that you may have been working on now this says trust the situation is calling for you to have faith so if those things are being worked on and you're trying to work this out with this person they're saying let go let god basically all right, because you'll be shown the signs. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. And if it's not, you know, in this case, that it's time to go. Two very clear messages in this one. All right, let's get some advice, some more advice. All right, so the King of Cups, you may need to pull back your energy a little bit and hold tightly on to the things that matter to you right now in this and let them go through. So if you're not able to see what's going on I can see where they're saying maybe you need not wait for the, the changes if you don't think they're capable of them and then the four of cups you're not going to accept anything less than everything so there's a little bit of conflicting energy which just means that I'm picking up on both energies some of you well and then the four of wands they had me pull this from the top of the deck with the seven of pentacles so if you don't want to release this energy allow them to make the changes I know it can be difficult to wait to see if somebody will, but it feels like wanting to hold tight to it. So they're saying, if you want to hold on, hold on. But the ones of you that feel like it can't be, then release it and don't wait around for somebody if they're not going to make the changes necessary. I know that seems so simple, but that's exactly what's coming out. It doesn't always happen this way. All right, let's look at the Lover's Oracle. This is for Leo. All right, we've been going quite some time, so let's get through this because I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. All right, so your messages are deep in your heart. You already know the answer. Do what feels right. And then we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. And then we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And that's everything I was talking about in the main reading. All right, last, we will get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. All right, so it says mending. A lot of you are going to be doing that. A lot of relationships over the next, I don't know, several weeks, especially the 10-day readings, are people mending, the fork in the road. You have a choice to make for sure. Okay, I shuffled these, and these are the same cards that came out for Aries. You may be dealing with an Aries. Round and round, you don't want to keep going round and round and go to the sea. How did I shuffle, and the same exact cards came out? And then they had me split the deck, and it's soulmates. So a lot of you really do feel very connected with this, and they're just asking you right now, even though things seem to constantly be going in the same cycle, to go with the flow and allow things to mend. Because I feel like a lot of you are interested in keeping this together. Um, very, it doesn't feel like as many of you are interested in walking away, but again, I can't calculate that. There's a lot of you. All right, guys, those were your messages. Thank you so much for sticking with me and for all of your support, your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I hope you have an amazing 10 days. Um, if you like the personals description box about section, 
Love you guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.